You can link tables together and use lookups to select from a list of rows from another table. Now you can filter the options so you can do things like select projects that are still active. Let's take a look at how to set this up. There's this projects table and then this tasks table. If we add a new task, let's say that this is paid ads campaign and we want to say to do, but we also want to link it to a project. This list of projects to select from is somewhat cluttered. We have these old projects that we're not too concerned about here. In the projects view, we can of course set a filter and so that we're only displaying the current project, but this doesn't really affect this. You, it's still cluttering this list, so what you can do is now select relationships, and we can take a look at this lookup column, open this up, and then you can now add a filter, click that, and in this column, select quarter, and say that it has to match this current quarter, and hit done. And what this will do now is show you just the projects that are in 2021 Q1. And we can set this to marketing. And that is a relationship filter. And one note is that this also will work in form. So let's just create a sample form. And then there's this projects list. And we'll hit save here and open this form up. And just taking a look at this projects list, it is filtered uh, in this case to what is filtered in that relationship. You can also add filters to summary columns. In this setup, we have the summary column of tasks that show the different tasks in a project. And taking a look at the tasks table, you can see that each task is assigned to a project with a lookup. Going back to projects, we want to create columns based on the status as well. So you can add a filter. I will select relationships, open up this dialog, go to from other tables to open up uh, this relationship with the summary columns. And here's this tasks summary. You can add a filter here and we'll select a column here so that the status is done and hit add. And we can hit done here. And this will filter down to just the tasks that are done. So we have video bots, video layouts, go to tasks, and we can see that these are the two tasks that are done. If I go back into the project table, I can also create a couple more columns like this. So I'll add another summary, select tasks, and rename this one to done. These were in progress. And then another one for to do. I'll set a filter on in progress so that it's in progress and for to do so that it's to do. And set these both to values so that it will display the values. And then I'll just resize these. And you can see now you have columns that show the tasks that are done, the tasks that are in progress, and the tasks that are set to to do.